This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth in sincerity. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak Wadash, Brak Thumb to use Aquanium. While I can walk off, you know your elders, your brothers, your sisters, the hopeful elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence, making calling and election sure, and of course, keeping faith in Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, in these last days, in these perilous times that we're living in. This is Brother Peshai, Ban Yashala, and this will be a quick lesson through the Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai on the pagan origins of Mother's Day, idolatry. Right, I'm going to jump right into it because I'm looking it up. Um, so I woke up this morning, you know, today is so-called Mother's Day. Where everyone out here worshiping their mothers, got that queen of heaven spirit, you know, worshiping the goddess Rhea, which I'm going to go into that through the spirit of Pavi Haobah Shema Shai, right? And you got a lot of people, um, there's one Jake specific, uh, specifically I thought about for a minute because I heard him a while back talking about he got to do this for, his, for Mother's Day and this for Mother's Day. And he the same Jake telling me that I have blind faith, follow something blindly. Then I thought about this dude is sitting there worshiping, you know, celebrating Mother's Day without knowing where it originates. I mean, he's blindly um, celebrating this holiday, you know, which I'm going to go into where, where it originates from, you know, through the spirit of Papi Al-Bashim al of course. But from there, let's get the scripture in Exodus 20 and jump down to verse 12, right? It says, honor thy father and thy mother. That thy days may be, be may be long upon the land which the Lord Yahweh Bashim Al Shah thy power giveth thee. So the scriptures and it's a law to respect the word honor. It goes to respect. It's not saying worship. It's not saying you know you bow before them and every year you have something special for them. No, throughout the year is you respect them, man. Right? It says honor thy father and thy mother. Right? That they date that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy power giveth thee. And we all know. Because they have also something called Father's Day. But which is more highly exalted in America and is Westernized society? Mother's Day, you know, because they got that Queen of Heaven worship spirit. I'm going to go um, into that through the spirit. But when you go into another translation with this verse right here, I'm reading a GNTD Bible. Exodus 20 and verse 12, it says, respect your father and your mother so that you, you may live a long time in the land that I am giving you. So, they, you know, some people try to pull the scripture but what about this right here? This this um um justifies Mother's Day and Father's Day. No, it doesn't. No, it does not. You know, because if you go into what those days, you know, where they originate, but today I'm gonna I'm focus on Mother's Day where it originates, let's go straight into it. Enough talking. So first I'm gonna read this right here. I looked up origins of Mother's Day. It's a simple Google search, right? It says Anna Jarvis of Philadelphia, Edomite woman whose mother had organized women's groups to promote friendship and health originated Mother's Day on May 12, 1907. She held a memorial service at her late mother's church in Grafton, West Virginia. Within five years, virtually every state was observing the day. And in 1914, the United, um, United States president. Let me see if there's more on that. Let me see. Mm. I, I think I can start up some As a matter of fact Let me read this, this paragraph right here Let's See what it's going into Mother's Day, holiday in honor of, of mothers That is celebrated in countries throughout the world In its modern form The holiday originated in the United States Where it is observed on the second Sunday In May Many other countries also celebrate the holiday on this date While some mark the observance At other times of the year During the Middle Ages no, it's like during the Middle Ages, the custom developed of allowing those who had moved away to visit their home, so I could visit their home, um, par um, parishes, and their and their mothers on Lottery Sunday, the full Sunday of Lent. This became Mothering Sunday in Britain, where it continued into modern times. Although it has largely been replaced by Mother's Day, Mother's Day is celebrated on Sunday, May eighth, twenty twenty two, which I believe, yeah, today is that day, right? But let's jump down, right? It says. Anna Jarvis of Philadelphia, whose mother has had organized women's groups to promote friendship and health, originated Mother's Day on May 12, 1907. You see, 1907. But it dates back even further than this. I'm going to it says she held a memorial service at her late mother's church in Grafton, West Virginia, 
Within five years, virtually every state was observing the date. And in 1914, the United States president, Woodrow Wilson, made it a national holiday. So who made it a national holiday? Woodrow Wilson, Edomite, devil, demon. It says, although Jarvis had promoted the wearing of a white carnation as a tribute to one's mother, the custom developed a wearing of red or pink carnation um, to represent a, a living mother or a white carnation for a mother who was deceased. Over time, the day was expanded to include others, such as grandmothers and aunts who played mother, mother, mothering roles. What had uh, originally been primarily a day of honor became associated with the sending of cards and giving of gifts. However, and in protest against his um, commercialization, Jarvis spent the last years of her life trying to abolish the holiday she had brought into being. So her last years of her living, she was trying to abolish the holiday she had brought into being, man. You know? Oh, as a matter of fact, it's right here. That's spirit. I'm about to look it up in an, uh, on a whole nother website, but it's right here. Watch this. Festivals honoring mothers and mother goddesses date to ancient times. The Far Fargians held a festival for uh, Cybiel, the great mother of the gods, and did the Greeks for the goddess Rhea. Likewise, the Romans adapted the practice to their own um, pantheon. Some countries have continued to observe ancient festivals. For example, Durga Puga, honoring the goddess Durga, remains an important festival in India. So it's all satanic. It's all pagan, man. We do a simple Google search. That's it. A simple Google search to let you know that this, this shit is pagan, man. Right? When we look up the Rhea the goddess, it says uh, Rhea is a goddess in Greek mythology, the Titanist daughter of the earth goddess Gia and a sky god Uranus, Gaia's son. Right? And basically, um, they say Rhea is the mother of the gods. Right? It says Rhea was a Greek earth goddess, which is all this is folly. It's all pagan. Right? It says uh, daughter of Uranus and Gia, mother to Demet Demeter, Hades, Hera, Castilla, P P Poseidon, and Zeus. Come on now. Come on. You know, must I even read on further? You brothers and sisters get the point. So Rila was the mother of the gods. So that's when you celebrate Mother's Day, you know, first off, you're um you're practicing um a, a pagan custom that dates back centuries, but as well as you know, they made it they modernized it in 1907 and a Jarvis, and in her last days, she tried to abolish it, man. Before she passed away, she was trying her best to abolish this holiday, which, you know, which I, I got to look it up why she wanted to abolish it. You know, I don't know if she realized it was pagan <laughs> because she was an Edomite. She probably wasn't getting paid off of it or some shit. I don't know. Right. But um, another scripture they'll try to pull, which I'm going to get some more precepts because let's get Luke 11. This is not, not going to be not too long. Right. I'm about to head to the plantation. Luke 11 in verse 28, it says. And it came to pass, as he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bare thee, and the paps which thou hast sucked. You see that? And she was referring to Mary. But he said, Yea, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of the Most High and keep it. So did he agree by con, sis, con. You know, he said, listen, nah, nah, nah. Rather, you know, yea, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of the Most High and keep it. And another translation it says, uh, Luke 11 and verse 27, it goes, it says, true happiness. GNTD, it says, when Yahweh Shah said this, a woman spoke up from the crowd and said unto him, how happy is the woman who bore you and nursed you? And Yah But Yahweh Shah answered, rather, how happy are those who hear the word of the Most High and obey it? You see that? That's what he was about, man. His father's business. And Yahweh Shah put his mother in place a couple of times, man. But of course, he loved her. He respected her, but he put her in place. When they came looking for him, when um when they her um and his brother came looking for him, you know he said when he said let me go into it, right? So so we say learn not the way of the heathens, man. So uh, let me see, where where is it at? Okay, I know what to type in. Right. right here, Matthew 12 and verse 47. Right, I'm sorry, verse verse um, 46. It says, while he has talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without with desire to speak with him. 
Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him, But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother, my brethren, his family. For whosoever shall do the will of the Most High, the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same as my brother and sister and mother, meaning my family, man. Those that serve me, Yahweh Shem Shah, that's my family. That's who I'm truly out here for. You know, because I believe, you, you know, if you jump on some, he, he was teaching, you know, he was teaching the disciples, man. You know, um, going back and forth, I believe, with the scribes and Pharisees, so on and so forth. Right. Let me see. Uh, There's another one in John. I'm going to find it through the spirit. It will be the Lord as well. Let me just jump straight down to it. So I believe it's in John. Is it? Is this it? No. <clears throat> Bear with me, Akim. But so far, you know, I believe I already hit the point, but I, I definitely want to get this. <clears throat> I can look it up right here. See, I, I, I'm wasting time. But actually, no, I'm not through the spirit. You know, everything is for the hopeful elect's sake. The spirit of the Lord wanted me to look it up like this. Okay, con. So it says, um. Uh, King James Version, John 2, right? John 2, right here. John 2, verse 1. And the third day, there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Yahweh Shah was there. And both Yahweh Shah was called and his disciples to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Yahweh Shah said unto him, They have no wine. Yahweh Shah said unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. His mother saved unto the servants, whatsoever he saved unto you, do it. You know, so did she get mad and say, why are you talking to me like that? You know, he, he put in her place right quick and she understood because she knew who he was, you know, but he also, he didn't disrespect. He just said, woman, what have what have I to do with you? My hour's not yet come. You see that? So he put her in place right quick. So he didn't worship his mother. He wasn't a mama's boy. You know, Yahweh was shy, you know, because you may have new brothers coming in and me feel bad, like, oh, my mom, she was expecting me to get her something today. And, you know, she's wondering why I didn't say, you know, happy Mother's Day, so on and so forth. Nah, fuck all that, man. You're serving Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You see? That's who we serve, man. We don't serve women. We don't serve, we don't worship our fathers, man. You know? Um, That's another scripture I want to get. Learn out the way of the heathen, man. Jeremiah. Right? To lock you. Let me get straight to it. Uh Jeremiah chapter is that 10? 10? 10 and verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaking to you, O house of Israel. Thus saith Yahweh Bashim now shy, learn not the way of the heathen. See, that's heathenistic customs, pagan origins. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. You see? So Mother's Day is woman worship. Right? That's what it is. <clears throat> Let me see. Uh, right. And they've been doing that day and back, man. Diana is another one, a goddess they used to worship, man. In the scripts, I can't remember the name. Right. But they was doing it all throughout the Bible, man. Our people going off. You see? Worshiping Ceramicis. Right. The, fer the, fer the fertile goddess. All that is folly, man. You know, there's nothing wrong with you buying your mother or something, you know, but do it on a regular day. Why I got to be on, the, on this wicked ass high holy day? The fact that you're doing it on this wicked ass high holy day is your, your, um, your honoring this day. You know, you giving reverence to this day. You know, that dates back to Anna Jarvis, even going further back to Rhea the goddess and amongst other goddesses, man, Durga, the, the goddess of in India, you know, so I don't even got to go on too, long, too much longer, man. You brothers get the point. You know, quick Mother's Day rebuke. That was a quick little origins of Mother's Day. You know? So, I'm, I'm going to get one more through the spirit. <clears throat> Let me see. Let's get John 4 and 24. I'm ending with this. It says, Yahweh is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So that's we gotta worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father Yahweh. You see that? And his son Yahweh Shai. 
You got to worship in the spirit and the truth, man. Understanding the truth and going into these things, you know. It's, it's a simple Google search and you, a quick read. You know, you, you learn. You get more edification on, okay, this is what it dates back to. You know, so that's that's it on that. I believe at the point I'm in it there. I want to give call Lion Blah, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Akai, Kodash, double honor to the elders and apostles, the great millstone, peace and salutation to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity without him to say Shalom, while Baba Ball, Shalom.